it is. Um, so we obviously didn't have an awful lot of money in those days, and uh, um, <laughs> my father was a miner, and so were all of my brothers. I was the only one that that didn't go into the mining industry. And, um, uh, well, your mother died too. Do you have any like visual memories of her? Do you remember her? No, no, none, none. Um, you know, she, uh, not that I, I can remember or, or, or recall. What um, was it like growing up without a mom? Well, um, after my, my mother uh, passed, we, uh, we were all somewhat divided up and um, uh, my youngest brother went to live with my eldest brother and I went to live with my eldest sister and her husband who was also a minor and um, I'd spend the weeks with them and then the weekends back with with uh, the rest of my family. Okay so, okay. so you were um, you know pretty different from what you were used to when you were growing up. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, it was a, an odd thing. I, I never wanted or dreamt of being an actor. Um, you know, I, uh, it, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't something that was on, on my mind. Uh, just s sort of something happened. Um, you know, I, I had a, a, a mentor that's uh, still alive, a gentleman by the name of Philip Button, who uh, is uh, a wonderful, wonderful uh, person who's still in my life. He lives in Key West now, and um, uh, he... He was the one that uh, encouraged me, and uh, he would take me up to the, the mountains, and he would teach me the classics, the Shakespeare, and uh, you know, and uh, he had a wonderful little trick of uh, making me recite Shakespeare backwards. Um, but but yeah, he he was the one that got me into it. I, I actually, when I was fourteen and a half, uh, I starred in a silent movie. Um, that was my first uh, first piece. I didn't even know what I was doing. It was uh, um, it was uh, it was a very odd piece. Probably missing in obscurity now. I probably won't be able to find it anywhere. So don't try. <laughs> Tell me about your first trip to Hollywood. That would have been a, even more so. You know, from Wales to London, and then from London to Hollywood. Well, I mean, you, you say it's amazing. I, th I think actually working down in a mine is something that is quite amazing. I think, uh, you know, it's uh, my father. I mean, he, he loved what he did, but it was a very, very, um, very tough job. Very tough job. And, you know, all I have to do is show up and know my lines. <laughs> Hollywood is, uh, is, is uh, I mean, it's a very, very strange place, and you know, of course, there's many strange and wonderful people here. But um, it's full of creativity, and I think, um, you know, as for these parties and uh, and uh, such, what uh, it doesn't really interest me that much, to be honest with you. So, like, jumping forward now, like to you and Elizabeth, how did the pair of you meet? First off. Well, uh, well, um, I first, uh, I first laid eyes on Elizabeth uh, uh, at a party in uh, in Hollywood, and uh, I knew, uh, I knew when I very first saw her that uh, that uh, she she was the one, really. And uh, even though she looked at me with utter disdain, uh, I knew that. Uh, that uh, one day she was uh, going to be mine, arrogant really. But, uh, Did she know who you were? Uh, no, no, no. I, I mean, I was just uh, a theatre actor from London, and uh, she wouldn't give me the time of day. And you know, she was uh, she was quite the star, and um, you know, obviously Oscar winner, and everybody loved Elizabeth, and. Um, but you kind of went out of your way for her many times, um, bidding for the diamond, which was a <laughs> wonderful thing to do, but did it not get you into some financial trouble? There were reports of that. Well, you know, it's one of those things, really, when um, you have 
so much money and you come from nothing and you don't really realize the value of things and uh, we just thought that money grew on trees back then and uh, you know we would uh, Elizabeth would treat me to um, art fantastic pieces of art and you know I would reciprocate by buying her jewelry and that was her love and I didn't think anything of spending over a million dollars to buy her what she wanted but you know I think one of Elizabeth's favorite words was more <clears throat> you know she was a child actress and she obviously was adored and beautiful and uh, um, you know she was getting to a certain age and I think uh, she was very insecure that she wasn't beautiful anymore or that she wasn't a leading lady anymore and um, for us to spend as much time as we possibly could together she uh, often found herself being my leading lady. I think for me one of the most happiest times with Elizabeth was when we we lived on a yacht. Um, I don't know if you uh, you know that but uh, the paparazzi uh, were, were quite intrusive um, and they uh, they followed us everywhere we went and um, also there was this little thing that we we didn't realize but we had to pay taxes. How rich is not having a lot of money? I mean, what is not having a lot of money to Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton? Well, uh... We were poor. Well, there were times when we definitely overspent. Let's put it that way. Uh, we, we, uh... I mean... I mean, how much money does somebody need to be happy? I mean, you know, uh, it's a... It's a pretty big question, I think, uh, that uh, only you personally can answer. Uh, you know, Elizabeth was, was very strong and she liked to smack me around a little bit, but, uh, you know... I read she threw things a lot. She liked to throw things, yes, she did, yes. Um, we, we, uh, she uh, ruined quite a few hotels. I mean, what couples don't argue and row, you know? You two in particular? Well, I think ours was made a little bit more public, um, you know, obviously because we were both uh, at the height of our careers and the whole world was watching.